stuff about how he was, um, for example, when he came here in the 1880s, 1890s, a, a restaurant in Seattle, uh, and uh, he began uh, essentially preying on uh, minors. Uh, Friedrich Trump, Frederick Trump, went to the red light district known as the Lava Beds of Seattle. He created a tiny storefront restaurant named the Poodle Dog, which had a kitchen, a bar, and private rooms for ladies, meaning prostitutes. Then he goes on to Seattle. Uh, he tries to create a, a restaurant, the New Arctic Restaurant and Hotel in Bennett, in the Yukon, private boxes for ladies. Oh, my God. Uh, the depraved, the depraved of the female sex were part of his uh, stock in trade. And then he gets to Whitehorse in the Yukon. I guess this is Canada, I think. Uh, the Arctic uh, restaurant, prime location, um, a bar, gambling facilities, and separate curtained off uh, areas with dark velvet for the sporting ladies, gambling, liquor, and so forth. So this is from uh, Gwenda Blair the author of The Trumps, Three Generations That Built uh, an Empire. So uh, this is the story with Trump. But now we have to move on to Bernie Sanders. Uh, this has gone uh, too far with Bernie. This week we've seen a, uh, an organized attempt by the, uh, the uh, campaign of Bernie Sanders to essentially allege that he is the American version of Corbyn. Now, Already, Corbyn, uh, we, we don't know him well enough. We can't put our hand in the fire for uh, Corbyn. But what is certainly true is that the public statements of Corbyn have been uniformly anti-war, no bombing of Syria, no humanitarian bombing, uh, nothing to do with overthrowing uh, governments with British uh, military forces. Unfortunately, with Bernie Sanders, it just doesn't uh, work that way. Um, the way that it works with Bernie is total support for the F-35 fighter jet boondoggle. It is reported to be a flawed aircraft. It's something like the Osprey. It's going to be kept going by people like Bernie in the Congress who have to uh, provide those jobs. We are not very hostile here to uh, weapon systems. It is a, uh, a rough world. But Bernie Sanders is a hypocrite. And here's what I say. Go to Bernie's website, Bernie Sanders for president, right? whatever it is, Bernie Sanders. Look under foreign policy. You will find nothing except his speech in the Senate supporting the Iran nuclear accord. That's the only foreign policy issue he has. We want to know more, Bernie. You're not going to get away with this. You're not getting a pass on foreign policy. Back in a minute. Come back to World News. Yo, got to get going in a hurry to wrap up in our last segment here on the 18th uh, of September. Remember, go to tarpley.net, tarpley.net, and Webster G. Tarpley Twitter feed, and me on Facebook, and keep up with the plans to have a welcome for Russian President Putin, the peacemaker, the one who, when our own government was about to go for a lunatic, catastrophic general war in the Middle East by bombing Syria two years ago. This is the guy who stepped up and saved your kid from being dragged into that maelstrom and vortex of insanity set up by Saudi Arabia and Turkey and John Allen, the ISIS czar. So now, Bernie Sanders, uh, I, I uh, say you better go to his website and see what he says about foreign policy. The answer being practically nothing, practically nothing. How dare he? The Democratic Party, as you see it today, such as it is, whatever it is, comes out of the crucible of the fight against the Iraq war from 2003 until the end of the decade and uh, Obama finally ending that war. Uh, Hillary Clinton, of course, as a neocon, warmonger, Wall Street Democrat, uh, would dispute this. But the rank and file of the Democratic Party is anti-war. If they're not that, what are they? From Vietnam to Iraq and now to, to Syria. The one thing he does have is the speech he gave on the Senate floor last week, and this is the only thing he's got on foreign policy, 
where he goes through some stuff. Yeah, he's for the Obama-Iran nuclear accord. But in the course of this, he goes through this thing saying, of course, the military option must always remain on the table, although as a last resort, period. Quote, this is unacceptable. As Putin said way back when, take that option off the table. It is antithetical to civilization. It threatens the lives and the futures of all of us. We're not interested in another general war in the Middle East. This would be uh, the coup de grace for the United States, right? The final blow. So I want to appoint everybody to get more details. Uh, Counterpunch magazine deserves a uh, vote of thanks, I would say, uh, for what they're doing. They have a series of articles about Bernie as a crypto warmonger. Bernie Sanders is a warmonger, but he hides it. And again, in a party where foreign policy has loomed so large, how can you left liberal mushheads let yourself be duped by somebody like uh, Bernie Sanders? This is uh, un- impossible. Uh, he talks about the Saudi Arabians getting their hands dirty. Getting their hands dirty is a quote. Uh, well, uh, Bernie, you got your wish. In Yemen, they are carrying out genocidal bombing campaigns. They've killed thousands and thousands on the ground. But the real genocide is there is no food for six to seven million people in Yemen who, because of Saudi war measures, are on the verge of starvation. Six to seven million. This is worse than uh, many things that have gone on in Africa and other uh, places. So he's got this obsession that the Saudis have to run the Middle East, uh, and he will not answer questions. I appeal to the left liberals, put Bernie on the spot, make him answer those inconvenient questions, force him to put some positions on foreign policy up there. And I thank uh, David Swanson, somebody who I've disagreed with on just about everything. Uh, One of these articles is by David Swanson, who points out uh, what Bernie is uh, is doing, uh, and that's that's an, an, another article that you can find on uh, on Counterpunch. So a number of articles about his uh, devotion to Saudi Arabia and so forth. Now we've come to the end of another program. We got to talk about the uh, FBI stalking. I, I talked to you before about the rapid growth of the tax Wall Street Party, of the United Front Against Austerity, and of my own uh, website, right? 130,000 notches gained in the last uh, three months or so. Um, we talked about the, the the methods of this last week. I hope the, the coming week we'll be able to devote more time to it. We may have to do a, 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 a kind of a supplementary broadcast. But what you need to do when you're confronted with uh, cyber stalking and uh, generally stalking, right? Uh, COINTELPRO 2.0, touchless uh, torture, and so forth, is to exercise counterpunch. And that is the entire array of countermeasures that can be used uh, to prevent illegal stalking. Illegally, the, the intelligence community wants to deprive you of your. Uh, right to freedom of association and other human rights, many of them guaranteed not only in the U.S. Constitution, but also in the U.N. Charter, the OAS, the OSCE, and so forth. Now, I can simply say the counterpunch activities of the Tex Wall Street Party are ongoing and also of the UFAA. Uh, There will be consequences for the people who are engaging in what they think is a uh, you know, a, a free ride of slander, vilification, intimidation, uh, and some uh, other things going to the point of being grotesque. Uh, there are people who have jumped onto this bandwagon who will be shocked and they will wish that they had never gotten involved in this. These are the dupes, the fellow travelers, uh, and so forth. They will wish they had never gotten involved in this stuff when. Uh, this uh, stuff begins to uh, to become uh, fully shared in the public domain. In other words, the stringers will be dragged into the uh, sulfurous pit. So uh, for the foot soldiers and the underbosses, we say back off. Uh, a real dossier is being prepared, and uh, it will take the breath away of some of these people. Um, 
the NAD group, in effect, uh, is going to find their uh, work getting to be harder and harder. Uh, how appalling that here in the United States we have to uh, deal with these things, but this seems to be the, uh, the issue. Since 9-11, we've got this entire uh, apparatus growing up. And I, in conclusion, I just want to say a few words. Uh, with Assange, of course, Assange, uh, supposedly a hero, sort of got the uh, Arab Spring going, right? The 2011 destabilizations of the Middle East. How about somebody like Snowden? Right? He's always focused on how the NSA is listening to your telephone. Well, uh, you'd have to say with, with Snowden, there's clearly a dimension of the CIA doesn't like to be wiretapped by the NSA, and Snowden certainly represents that. But Snowden also represents an attempt to divert attention away from FBI stalking and towards this area of uh, cybernetics and, uh, and snooping and so forth. Remember, when they want to target you, they start with files. They start with uh, all kinds of files that are in the federal government. They get an overview of you and a basic concept from the files, and then they use wiretaps and uh, NSA cyber activities to get uh, more about you, right? Keystroke for keystroke, those operations uh, where we, we knew about them, but um, Snowden gave if, uh, the code names. But then begin the operations, right, to intimidate you, to demoralize you, to drive you out of politics, to, um, convince your, to convince you that your life is a chain of failures and nothing but the slashing of your bike tires, the crank calls, the crank emails, the slanders online, uh, the little failures, the problems, the defeats, and so forth, all being uh, brought up. That's all based on files supplemented by uh, wiretaps and, uh, and uh, tapping into the internet and so forth, uh, and these other uh, activities carried out by, what can we say, informal uh, agents, right? The informella mitarbeiter. And it does come uh, from the, uh, the Stasi model, systematic discrediting or, or attempts at that. We've seen some, some attempts that discredit the discreditors more than they discredit uh, the targets, right? Anonymous defamation uh, and all the rest of it. Uh, accusations of all types, the more prurient, uh, the better. So um, that's what we're dealing with. Uh, the campaign is ongoing. Stay tuned, and we'll be back next week. Watch Topley.net and Webster G. Topley Twitter for the pro-Putin activities at the UN General Assembly around the 27th or 28th of September. See you next week.